Hey, what's going on, everybody? Joe, 690ADV. Yamaha, not 100% what they're thinking. I think I know what they're thinking, but it's not breaking news, but it is sad. 2021, there's going to be some changes, and we're going to talk about it next. What is up? What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Hopefully everybody had a good week. Man, I'll tell you what, weather changed rapidly. I don't know how it is on your side of the world, but on ours, it got chilly. It got chilly pretty quick. And, uh, yeah, definitely got the jacket and the gloves and everything. I, I got the ACAC gear on today. So, but um, anyway, yeah, hey, you know what? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you do that before you you know, watch any more of the video. It takes two seconds. Um, don't forget, you can hit me up, 690ADV at gmail.com. Any time, I will do my best to get back to you ASAP and answer any questions that you might have about anything. Or maybe you just want to chat. That'd be awesome and fantastic. And, hey, it's December. It's that time of the year. Don't forget, down below in the comments, it, you know, in the description area, all of our affiliate links, any of the things that maybe I wear or things that I use or what I have, it's down in there, man. It helps the channel out. We sure do appreciate it. On to tonight's video. This isn't like late breaking news. This isn't like news flash or anything like that. But it is a little heartbreaking. And I didn't talk about it. And I know it's been out for a couple of weeks. But Yamaha. And you know I love Yamaha. I've owned several of them. I just... They're just, they, they make such great motorcycles and they haven't really had to make any changes for quite some time um, in the dual sport world. Well, the sad news is, and it kind of hits me a little bit right here. So if you have any desire to go and get one, the WR250R, adios amigo, it's gone, man. It's discontinued. It's out of here. It hurts me a little bit because it's such a great bike. You know, a bike with 30 horsepower, right out of the gate, plenty of fuel, six speed, you know, just a really all around. It's, in my opinion, <clears throat> my opinion of the 250s, the king of the 250 dual sports, and now it's gone and we're not going to have it anymore. How do you feel about that? Down below, put it in the comments and uh, tell me what you think about uh, Yamaha. I'm a little, like I said, I'm a little heartbroken, just a little bit, but I have a theory and I have a thought. And you tell me what you think, and you can put your theories down below in the comments for everyone else and all you Yamaha guys that are out there, because there's quite a few. My buddy Chip just sold his WR, fantastic bike. Um, but what I will say is, is that that motorcycle has basically reigned supreme for I just can't count how many years. And it will do anything any other bike will do. It's not going to be as fast. It's not going to be probably 100% as agile. But it's like the KLR for the 250s. It'll do all of it. And it'll do it pretty good. Not amazingly, but really pretty good and do all of it. It'll do everything that this 690 will do, you know, and you can travel on it. The aftermarket parts are ridiculous, man. They are just through the roof on what you can do to those bikes. You can totally adventure those WR250Rs like crazy. Now, with them discontinuing you in this bike, like I said, it kind of grabbed me a little bit in the heart. And I didn't want to believe it. And I just wanted to make sure. I don't like to go out and make false accusations. But it is. It's real. It's it's going to happen. And uh, there's nothing we can do about it. So, but the question is, is Yamaha jumping the gun? Or does Yamaha have something up their sleeve? <laughs> and I honestly, I just think Yamaha, they're always trying to reinvent themselves and make something great. And they're really big in the MX scene with their YZ platform. They do fantastic in the in the motocross and supercross, you know, um, and that's where that WR comes from is the YZ250 uh, frame and all that stuff. 
So, what do I personally think? And you may think I'm crazy or whatever. Like I said, you know, put it down below in the comments what your thoughts and theories are. But my honest opinion is, I know a lot of people think that they're going to bring like a Tenere 300 or maybe a Tenere 650 or so. I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm thinking what we're going to get. I think because of what Kawasaki with the KLX 300 and with Honda in the 300 CRF, the L, I think Yamaha is realizing it's time to step up the game a little bit and bring something fresh and new. And I don't think it's going to happen in 2021. I think it'll be probably somewhere around the 2022. Here's my thinking. We all wanted that WR or 450R. We thought it'd be fantastic, but I think they're going to go maybe a step further and maybe do a WR500 or maybe a Tenere 450. Now, that's my thought. I don't think they're going to want to go with the 300cc range. I think they're going to want to put something out there that will complete, compete with the 300s and the 500s that are out there, especially with that Honda 450 CRFL that is doing very well. Now, I know that there's rumors shuffling around that that CRF 450L is slowly going to be discontinued. I don't know if I buy that or not. Now, maybe in Australia, that's where these guys are hearing it. But I think Yamaha is going to bring something bigger, better, sexier, and it's going to be fantastic. What do you think? Put it down below in the comments and tell me what you think. Yamaha, they're not out of the game. I know that XT250, everybody talked about it's going to be discontinued. Uh -uh. I called it, said it was not happening, and guess what? Eh, it's still alive. So, what do you think? The 250... WR250R is gone. What do you think is going to be next? I'm thinking a 450 or a 500. Tell me what you think. Anyway, hey, have a fantastic weekend. And it's cold. Make sure you bundle up, man. Don't forget our affiliate links for any Christmas gifts, for gear, or something for your rider buddy or yourself. And uh, we appreciate you. Don't forget, 690ADV at gmail.com. Anytime, anywhere, I'll hit you up. And, uh, man, we sure do appreciate you. Be safe out there. And uh, get out and find your adventure, man. 690 out.